In the hours since, I don't think you've had a lot of time uh, to check your phone or, or calls or emails. What's the response been, given what you're laying out in terms of the perfect victim being shattered? There are no words. There are no words. I just now saw the headlines. Um, we are, I'm really sort of um, uh, taking in the moment and the overwhelming flood of a lot of hate. That's part of it. Uh, but an overwhelming amount of relief and joy and, and at, the feeling of at last and the, uh, uh, the surge of, there's a sort of a feeling of victory that at last somebody has held him accountable in a courtroom, thanks to Robbie Kaplan. So it's, a, it's such a, a mash of overwhelming emotions, it's hard to put into words. The nerve on CNN to invite victim E. Jean Carroll on just hours before they host her abuser for a town hall, despite hundreds and thousands calling on the network to cancel the episode in light of yesterday's verdict and the insurrection. CNN has decided that its ratings are more important than journalistic integrity. So I commend E. Jean Carroll for somehow keeping her composure and keeping the conversation solely about her well-deserved victory in court against Donald Trump. Because if that were me, I would have gone scorched earth on those CNN anchors for shamelessly promoting my abuser while simultaneously doing everything in their power to help him become president again. Now, Having said this, it is good that E. Jean Carroll went on CNN and she should keep speaking out on every network because there are others who have come forward with sexual assault allegations against Donald Trump and they didn't get to have their case heard in court. So I think E. Jean Carroll's victory is a win for them as well, at least some form of validation and hopefully it will encourage others to come out of the woodworks and bring similar charges against Donald Trump. Hopefully. Thank you guys for watching, and I will continue to uncover the truth.